Hey guys, Antonio here again, back with some more Thinking Fast and Slow. Um, today we're going to talk about chapter 3 called The Lazy Controller. Um, so this chapter is all about how your subconscious mind or System 1, that if we're going with the same characters that we talked about in chapter 1, System 1, which would be more of your associative uh, automatic mind, subconscious mind, and System 2, the, the conscious mind. System 1 has so much influence in, of, your, of your power over System 2. Um, so they go ahead and say like throughout, the, throughout your day you have this limited amount of mental energy, willpower, uh, uh, whatever you like to call it, self-control, and as the day goes on and you start doing different tasks like uh, working out or going to work or during your commute to work or stuff like that, cooking, um, you, you start to use this mental energy and you only have so much of it. And um, the problem here is is that system two is the, the source of this energy. So when you keep, when you use system two, <clears throat> excuse me, when you use system two, you start losing a lot of energy. And system two is what you need to override system one's behaviors. And the more you start using system two during the day, the less system two has control and the less power it can exert. And system one starts having more influence. This whole idea is called ego depletion. Um, and the point here is uh, that I took away from this chapter personally is that if system one has more influence over your system two, the only way to get around this to make sure that you get where you need to go no matter what you're doing is uh, to program system one to have the beliefs that you want to have. And um, I, we don't have the information in this chapter, in this book yet to start programming system one, but uh, that's what I would believe would be the best way. So if you don't have to exert that much system two energy because your system one, your fallback plan basically is to always act in the way you needed to, then you should have no problem. And ego depletion should never be a problem for you. Um, also, they go ahead and talk about the state of flow, um, which I'm sure you've heard of this term before, but uh, it's basically when you are in a state of effortless concentration on the task that you have at hand, and it's so deep that you start losing a sense of time, you don't feel hungry, uh, <laughs> you, you lose track of yourself, and the, even like the, the, the stuff, the perspective of the entire task, you just keep keep knocking out things that you're doing because it's so, uh, your concentration is so deep. And that's something that you can get, um, it's something you can get using your system two and system one together. Um, so, hope you guys like today's chapter. Stay tuned for tomorrow's chapter, chapter four. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you could also share this video with some of your friends and, um, Maybe they can get some use out of it. Also, subscribe for more of these videos and any other books that I'm doing. I'm about to start a uh, uh, sequence on the law of success as I'm doing this book at the same time so you get two books at once. Um, and leave a comment down below for any books you'd like me to do. Have a great day, guys.